There was this rich man who owned a big kingdom all over and um, one day he was disappointed by one of his servants and he had to lay him off. Now the servant of course wasn't happy and he decided to retaliate by talking ill about him all over. So he went from village to village talking of how bad the king is and all those kind of things and how he had plundered well and all those things. And of course word came back to the rich man who owned the kingdom and he was very disappointed by him. And he decided uh, he got to get this guy arrested. In no time, the guy was arrested and then brought before him. And when he came in there, he was very remorseful, pleading for mercy and all those things. And the king knew that this young man did something that he was very much aware of. So he decided to pardon him, but based on uh, an assignment that he gave him out. So the young man was told to come with a pillow. Just a pillow, of course, those times pillows are made of feathers and all. And when the young man came with the pillow, thinking that that was just the task, he asked the young man to go in the middle of the city, tear it up, spread the feathers, and then come back with, the, with that, just the cover. So the young man just did that, thinking it's just a simple thing, went in the middle, just cut it off, let the feathers out, and all the feathers are spread out, and then came back and said, I've done it. Then the rich, young, rich man told, told the young man, go back and collect every feather that you had, uh, had scattered out. So the young man was quite disturbed but went back. He tried to go gather what he could, but the wind had already blown a lot of feathers. So he could not even gather a handful of the feathers. And others had been swept away and the rest of the things. So he came back very afraid and to the king saying, you know what, I only gathered this after having to collect for a whole day. And the king told him, that's exactly what you did to me. When you go around speaking about all these things, word spread and the wind takes up everything. And now you're trying to tell me to forgive you. Yet the damage that has been done by you is already done completely. Now, of course, you may know that the king wasn't happy, of course, and there was a lot of penalties on the guy. But what is the lesson we get out of this? When you decide to speak ill of someone, throw allegations of someone, gossip about someone, talk about things that are not here or there, or just decide to be the catalyst of any information that you get. Are you really helping the person? Are the words that you speak in worthwhile? Are they praiseworthy? Are they building that person? Then if not, just know that you're scattering feathers for the sake of destroying the person. And so my too many sense is this. Watch your words. What are you speaking? What are you speaking today? Are you building the person or are you destroying them? Thank you.